What's going on everybody? I haven't made a video in a little while, so uh, just kind of been busy, haven't been able to make time to do it as much as I'd like to. So I came up with an idea. I'm gonna start um, doing some shorter videos, kind of some technique videos, tips, so that way I can just uh, try to get more videos out that, that are helpful to people. Um, I'm gonna start off by doing just some basic techniques and different uh, tips and just whatever anybody wants to see after that. So today I'm out here on a lake close to my house. We're gonna fish for a few hours. Um, and so the first thing I'm gonna do is a Texas rig. Um, just a pretty simple rig. Got a bullet weight and uh, wide gap. I believe this is a three-aught uh, worm hook. I'm gonna throw this uh, Reactions Innovations uh, Sweet Beaver. So throw a creature bait, uh, beaver style bait, or a worm. Um, basically going to be the same presentation I'm going to show you today. Hopefully I can uh, give you some tips you don't know and uh, put a couple fish in the boat. But we'll start off by rigging this thing. Uh, pretty simple. So I'm just going to go about this distance in the top of it, right in the middle. I'm going to bring it back out. I'll push that all the way up and through to that offset at the top. Bring my hook straight through here. I want it to sit right in the middle of that. Just take your time, try to get through there just right. And then I'm barely gonna cover the tip of that just so I don't get hung up. It's gonna set up just like that. And uh, we've got kind of riprap dam back here and then a bunch of brush. Um, flooded timber and stuff so we're gonna go through we're gonna fish it pretty quick uh, flipping this thing up in there see if we can get a bite so hang out with me all right here we are pulling up on the first spot we're gonna start right here work our way down we got some wind just picked up and uh, looks like it might be blowing some rain in so hopefully we can uh, do some stuff pretty quick and uh, get this video in here and get up here get set up i'm gonna go ahead and if you would like like the video subscribe to the channel comment that kind of helps um get the videos out and be seen a little bit more also it gives me an idea what you want to see um just let me know if there's anything particular you'd like and uh see if i can work on it so for me when i'm fishing uh texas rig either creature bait or worm beaver style bait i want to get up here pretty close um, Weeds, logs, rocks. I'm basically gonna flip it in there, cast it in there. I'm, I'm trying to fish maybe a 10 foot area. Uh, then I'm gonna go on. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much just gonna be hitting what I think are high percentage areas. Uh, lay down logs, rocks, weed lines. It's summertime right now. So I'm gonna focus on where the current's coming in. I'm gonna focus on um, some grass, some shade, and uh, cover. Usually when I come up here too, I like fishing live scale if you use my electronics a lot. When I come up like this, it's pretty shallow. I'm going to shut them down, put them on standby. I don't want to make any more noise than I have. I'm going to cast that out there and I'm going to let it fall. And I want to pay attention because a lot of times they'll hit it on the fall. So I want to pay attention to that. If I don't feel anything, I wait for it to hit the bottom. Then I'm just going to give it a little pop. When we get that slack reeled back up, I'm just going to wait. Another little pop pop. If I do that two, three, four times, I don't get a bite. I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to try to hit another spot. I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw this worm in areas I wouldn't throw anything else. Pretty much if I'm going to throw anything else up there, it's going to get hung up. Anything but maybe a spinnerbait. Weave the swim bait maybe, but I'm really trying to get back there in the thick of that stuff. Letting it fall, couple pops, let it sit. You can also vary your retrieves. Work it a little faster, work it a little slower. Do what works for, for you until uh, you get bit and then you kind of build on that pattern a little bit.
Sometimes those bites will be bump, bump, bump. Sometimes they'll just grab it and take off. You really got to pay attention to your line. And the more you do it, the more practice, the more you'll get comfortable with it, the more you'll know that's a bite, that's a rock, that's a log, so on and so forth. that though he was right there on that log took me down under it got me wrapped up you got to get hook set and uh, get him up out of there it's a lot better fish though so. uh, it's kind of how you run a texas rig you just got to kind of fish it more and more and uh, just build confidence in and keep practicing but uh, let this guy go and see if we can get him Took off. He didn't even didn't even feel him. It just started running. Kind of the same spot. just not really want to cooperate today. Retie on that one. You are fishing this stuff heavy cover. Make sure to retie fairly often. You don't want to catch a big one. You haven't been retired and it breaks you off. pounder probably that's uh, above average in this lake but uh after that we'll wrap it up get out of here thanks for watching the video uh like comment subscribe let me know what technique you'd like me to do a video on next thanks